Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, big news fam. I found a study that found that when people decreased their light sleep, they had a lower mortality. This is potentially big, big news for polyphasic sleepers. Stay tuned. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. Okay, so as I said in the introduction, this is big news for polyphasic sleepers. Um, as we have explained in our series on whether polyphasic sleeping is dangerous, after adapting to a polyphasic sleep schedule, you will be getting as much vital sleep as you did when you were monophasic, and only your light sleep will have decreased. Uh, it's currently believed that unless you are able to meet this criteria, uh, of the conver conservation of light sleep, you're going to be unable to adapt to your schedule. In other words, uh, when we've tested these things, people who adapt are able to get as much vital sleep when they are polyphasic as when they are monophasic. And people who are unable to do so do not successfully adapt. I'll leave a link to our online course on whether polyphasic sleeping is dangerous in the description and you can check it out if you want more information on this subject, since we'll tackle a bunch of different topics in that course. It's also completely free uh, and doesn't necessitate that you register to the site polyphasic.net. So I absolutely encourage you to check it out. Uh, now that you know the background, let's get back to the meat of this finding. So this study is called Influence of Rapid Eye Movement Sleep on All-Cause Mortality, a community-based cohort study, and it's written by Zhang et al. and released in 2019. The main focus on this study was to examine how different sleep stages affect the mortality of people with sleep disordered breathing. And as you can probably guess from the title of the study, uh, the, you found, they found out that when you reduce your REM sleep or your REM proportion of your uh, or your REM sleep duration, your mortality increases. But these studies will rarely examine only one sleep stage, since you're also going to need to use a polysomnogram to get really accurate results here. Uh, it means that it's also going to measure the other sleep stages, okay? And the cool thing is that in this study, they found that people who had less light sleep actually had a lower mortality than people who had more light sleep. <laughs> so this is pretty bonkers. And this is the first actual evidence that we have that shows that the change in sleep architecture that an adaptation to a polyphasic sleep schedule leads to uh, actually like a, re a reduced mortality. We previously discussed how napping decreases the mortality of people and how the lifestyle of polyphasic sleepers also has evidence of being healthier than monophasic sleep. But this is a direct link between how the sleep blocks are structured and the mortality that it correlates to. I'll link the mini-series where we talk about whether polyphasic sleeping is healthier than monophasic sleeping in the description. And you can watch those videos after this one if you feel like you're interested in hearing more about that topic. But there's an issue with this study. See, the sample was consisting of sick people, which automatically makes the results less applicable to the larger populace. So while this evidence is good, in light of there not being any other information like this. Uh, it should be viewed as an introductory study to, that other studies can work off of, and you shouldn't take it as being necessarily applicable to everyone. Um, and this study has only been cited four times, so if you're interested you can keep up to date uh, with it to see if any similar studies uh, like this one pop up where they perhaps examine the impact of sleep architecture of, on the mortality of healthy people. Just an idea, you know, if you're interested. But okay, as this study also concluded that a reduction in REM sleep was associated with a higher mortality, you're of course still suggested to stay away from nap-only schedules. If you have a normal over six hours monophasic sleep, uh, 
I encourage you not to attempt nap only schedules like Uberman or Dimaction, since those will most likely reduce the time you spend in either REM sleep, slow wave sleep or both. If you want to watch a video where I uh, basically bash nap only schedules, you can check out that video called watch this video before you attempt the Uberman schedule, which will also be linked in the description. Uh, so you have quite a few videos to watch after this one and while we're at it I might just as well uh, tell you to watch uh, every single video on this channel okay? <laughs> nah I'm just messing with you so it would be appreciated. Okay great I hope you learned something new and I hope that you've gotten a bit more confident in attempting polyphasic sleep schedules. Like this video if you liked it, comment if you have more questions, subscribe for more videos related to sleep, polyphasic sleeping and more and have a good day friends. Remember to nap well people!